is a 7-inch Arcos internet tablet. Got it for Christmas from my wife. My wife got it because she knew it was the one I wanted. Why did I pick this tablet over all the other tablets out there? I mean, a lot of people don't even know the name Arcos. Well, Arcos has been making tablets more than a lot of other big names out there. Um, but you don't see a lot of advertising for it, and advertising makes a difference, uh, especially here in the U.S. But the reason I picked this tablet, because there are definitely tablets out there faster than this one, but they also cost more. This one is pretty decent for its price. It's uh, about $235 on Amazon right now with free shipping. It's got a 250 gig hard drive, which I love. Um, but they also have a uh, slightly cheaper 8 gig model with a solid state drive. And they also have 10 inch models, which are about the same price, but still with only, uh, you know, uh, I think four to eight gigs uh, solid state drives, depending on the model you get. Um, now the reason I pick this tablet, the Arcos brand tablet over other tablets, is the freedom of it. Um, it comes with Android installed on it, which most tablets nowadays do, and it, Android's alright if you're just going to be surfing the internet, maybe playing some games. But if you want your tablet to be real useful, and basically turn it into a desktop computer, you need to be able to install a real version of Linux on there. Now most versions of Android, or most Android products nowadays, uh, if you're able to root them, you should be able to churroot root into an actual Linux environment, uh, Ubuntu uh, or Debian. Um, and then start up a VNC to create a display to run GUI applications. And that's great if you're on a faster machine, because you're going to be uh, uh, running that extra display, which I'm sure is a little more taxing on uh, the processing. But also, I don't like having to root my device. I don't like having to rely on somebody else uh, to create this routing, because most people, now if you can figure out, you're smart enough how to figure out how to root the device yourself, that's great. But if you're using someone else's application to root it, you're basically giving them the control of your machine. You may or may not trust them. That's up to you. That's your decision whether you trust these people or not. The great thing about the Arcos device is if you go to the Arcos website, you can install the developer's firmware, which basically changes the bootloader and allows you to dual boot the device. And uh, by default, it installs their version of Linux. I can't remember the name of it. But you can easily replace their image with any distribution of uh, Linux that you like that supports ARM. In my case, I like Debian. They have a huge source of uh, repositories, and all their applications in the repositories have been compiled for ARM devices. Um, so basically what you do is you install their uh, updated firmware, the developer firmware, and then at boot time you use the volume keys on the side here to choose whether you want to go into Android or into your Linux distribution. Now there is a website out there that allows you, that's, uh, their goal is to uh, create a Debian uh, install for this, which they have. Uh, a few versions of right now and that's great but uh, once again you're putting your trust into someone else and that's fine to play around for a bit but I really wanted to create my own distribution to put on here or my own install of Debian anyway to put on here and that's what we're going to do in this series if you start the playlist uh, that goes along with this video uh, right here or definitely check the, uh, the description for the link to the playlist um, I'm going to show you to how from scratch to download Debian netboot installer for ARM use a virtual machine to uh, install it and then uh, make some modifications and then copy that image over to your tablet to be able to boot into it. So um, really I'm trusting Arcos with their firmware, which I already am because I bought their device, and the Debian developers who I've always trusted for years. I don't have to worry about any third party interference. Um, not that that's always a bad thing if that's your only option, but if you can do it yourself, that's a great thing too and that's what we're going to learn today. So go ahead, check out the playlist, link in the description, and we're going to learn how to boot into a real Linux environment here. You'll have uh, the GNOME desktop running, or whatever desktop running you'd like, and you have the full Debian repository, so all your favorite open source software running on the tablet. Um, just install them using your favorite package manager that you would normally on Debian, I like Aptitude. So uh, this is going to be kind of a series, and the great thing about this series is we're creating a Debian ARM install. Um, and towards the end, we're going to make some modifications specific to this device. But you can also take the same image we're creating and put it on almost any ARM device that you're capable of doing that on. I'll give you an example, I'm using the same image I created for this on my Nokia N900 cell phone when I churroot. In the past, I've used the Debian churroot, uh, easy churroot install, um, which once again, I was using an image that someone else created which uh, has worked great for me over the years. But now that I know how to create my own image, I'm using my own image, I can modify it and make sure that it's set up how I like. 
and I learned a lot on the way. Um, there were days and days of messing up the install, getting a little bit further, getting a little bit further. So I'm hoping my videos help you learn how to create an ARM install of Debian for use on, once again, pretty much any ARM device that allows you to uh, boot an image. Uh, so right now, like I said, I'm running it on my Arcos device. Uh, and I'm also running on my N900. And currently I have a Pogo plug running um, Arch Linux. Um, and I might try to switch over to my own Debian image if I have the time. So go ahead, check out the playlist. I also want to note, before I forget, there are Arcos internet tablets. And then there's other ones called Arnovo tablets that look identical to this almost. And it says Arnovo designed by Arcos. And as far as I know, the developer um, firmware for these devices won't run on that, uh, so you may have a little bit of difficulty if you have one of those devices. So make sure you're buying the right device. Go ahead, I'll have links in the description to this video and hopefully all the videos in the series uh, to Amazon to where you can see devices like this one so you know you're ordering the right one. Plus I get a little bit of commission if you buy it through the link, so go ahead and check that out. Um, but Regardless of where you buy it, make sure you're buying an Archos device, not the Arnovo Ar designed by Archos, because they definitely are different devices. They don't, at least the one I saw, uh, doesn't have the volume buttons. It doesn't have, this one has an HDMI out that you can go to a, uh, a TV with, uh, and uh, other device, at least the cheaper models, don't have that. So, uh, once again, um, I'm using 250 gig. There's only one 250 gig that I know of, so if you order that one, you know you're getting the right one. But if you want a 10-inch model or you just want the 8 gig model, uh, just make sure you're ordering the right one. Once again, I'll put links in the description uh, to uh, what I believe are the proper ones. So, thanks for watching. Check out the playlist. Oh, oh by the way, if I didn't mention it earlier, today's my birthday. So go ahead, give me a comment. Wish me a happy birthday. Um, I'm 31 today. And... Um, I ask that you also visit my site, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Check out all the links in the description. So let's get started with this series. And I hope that you learn a lot. I've learned a lot, and I'm still learning. Currently, I think there's five videos in this playlist, five or six. And I'm um, definitely going to be adding more and more as we go along. And then I'll start uh, also doing uh, other ones in the series for maybe other devices as I uh, see fit and learn how to. So as I learn, you learn. Thank you for watching. And uh, have a great day.